Hi everyone and welcome back to World of Yohio. Today we're going to talk about goal setting. Let's get into it. Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I feel a lot more energized than last time because uh, the last episode I actually recorded right after uh, waking up. So uh, yeah, that was that. But this time I've been awake for at least like six hours, I guess, because I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't uh, fall back to sleep. So I thought that I could just record another episode here in my studio. So today we're going to talk about goal setting. Because we all have goals in life, right? At least most of us do. And they can be small goals or big goals or impossible goals even. It doesn't really matter. The important part is that most of us have some kind of goal in life. The problem is though, that most of us don't know how to go about achieving these goals. And that's what I want to talk about today. Because there are certain steps that you can take that will make it much more possible for you to achieve these goals. Step number one, write down your goals. Yeah, I know, you've probably heard this before and you think it's fluffy and you know, yeah, I'll write down my goals and then what? But it's actually really important if you think about it. Because if you don't write down your goals, then you'll just walk aimlessly through life. You won't have a sense of purpose or a sense of direction and meaning. And if you don't have that, then you, you'll feel lost. So how do we go about setting our goals? Well, the first thing I need you to do is to make a list. Yes, it's very, very simple. So what I want you to do is take out a notebook or a piece of paper and make the headline, my goals. And then you just start writing them down one by one. Everything that comes to mind, everything you want to achieve, everything you want to do, everything you want to have in life, everything you want to feel, write it down. That's the first step. It's very, very simple and it won't take that much time. But take your time doing it. Sit there and think about what you want in life. What do you really, really want? This is one of the most important things you'll do in your entire life. Figuring out what you want. That's the first crucial step. So now that you've got all of your goals written down, I need you to move on to the next step. So I want you to grab another piece of paper and I want you to write down the exact same goals. But this time in present tense, I am, I have statements. So for example, I am number one in my field or I am the CEO of my own company or I have a million dollars in my bank account. And yeah, I know some of you guys will probably think that this is just some law of attraction fluffiness going on, but it's actually really crucial for your mindset. And if you don't have your mindset in the right place, then you won't be able to prime yourself into believing that you're actually capable of doing these things, that you're actually capable of achieving your dreams. And if you don't believe in it, then you won't take the steps necessary because you don't think it's possible. You need to think it's possible. And if you make those statements, I am this, I have that, you're priming yourself. You're actually visualizing, you're, you're seeing it in front of you. While you write it, you can see it clearly, right? You can see yourself having that. You can see yourself being that. And that's very important because we need to believe in ourselves and you need to believe in your capacity to figure everything out along the way because you don't need to know all the steps. 
Nobody knows all the steps. Your path is unique. My path is unique. Nobody has all the answers to your specific goals. You need to figure that out for yourself. And that's why you need to believe that it's possible because otherwise you won't take the steps necessary. Okay, so step number three, set a deadline. So I want you to go through all of your goals that you've just written down and I want you to pick a date for each of those goals when you want that goal to be achieved. For instance, I am number one in my field by the 2nd of August 2021. This creates a sense of urgency for you and this creates a time frame from which you have to work from. And uh, it's very important because it's a good type of stress, you know, it gets you going. If you see this every day that, okay, by August 2021, I'm going to be number one in my field. You don't have that much time, do you? So that makes you feel like you have to move. It creates urgency in your life. It creates some kind of feeling that I have to do something today that gets me forward, that moves me in the direction I want to go. So if I want to be in that place in two years, well, then I better get to work, right? I better do something today. I better contact someone. I better do what I have to do to get just one step forward. It can be a small step, but you have to do something, right? Okay, so it's probably not realistic to be able to reach such a big goal as being number one in your field or having a million dollars in your bank account in just two years. But that's not the important part here. The thing is that you need to believe that you're capable of reaching that goal within the time frame you've set for yourself. It creates a good sense of stress, a good kind of stress, and it just gets you going. And that's the thing that matters. And sure, if you do reach your goal within your time frame, then congratulations, you made it. Setting a deadline for each and every goal that I have was a huge game changer for me. It just changed the way that I perceive time, the time that I have left on this earth, and that time is really precious. So don't waste your time. We don't have a lot of it, even though we're told that when we're children, it's not the truth. When you're older, as some of you are, you'll just realize that time slips away. The days go by, the weeks go by, the months go by, the years go by, and we all get older each and every day. So if you really want to achieve your goals, you have to make use of the time that you have each and every second of it. The positive thing here is that we all have the power to take back control over the time that we have. It's your responsibility to take control over your time. So make sure that you're using it to your own benefit. Now, you can look at this in two different ways. And it's all a matter of perspective, okay? So the first way to look at this is, you know, I don't have time and time is slipping away. It's slipping through my fingers and, and I'm getting older each day. You know, that's a very negative mindset to have. Instead, you can do it on the flip side and you can think that this is an opportunity for you to take back control over your own life. Make use of your time. Make time work for you instead of the other way around. Take the time you have and invest it in things that matter to you. 
like your dreams and your friends, your family, your loved ones, your hobbies, your interests. Make your time work for you. Spend your time doing the things you love with the people you love. And if you are very serious about reaching your goals, well, then use your time for that in every way that you can. And I'm not saying that we don't have responsibilities in life, because we all do. We all have to do things that we, you know, we maybe don't feel like and we'd, we'd rather take that time and spend it in some other way. But, you know, that's just the way of life. We can't really change that. But what I'm talking about is the rest of the time you have. When you don't have chores or or things that you have to do the time that's left use it i mean imagine if you took all the hours that you spend scrolling through social media like a zombie or watching meaningless youtube videos about some drama that doesn't even have anything to do with you or your life or your goals imagine if you took all of these hours every single week and you put them into let's say learning a new language for example Imagine how many hours you'd have spent learning that language in just a few months. Imagine how far you'd have come in that new skill that could actually make a difference in your life. So stop wasting your time. Start using it for your own good and start taking control of your life again. I promise you you'll be much happier that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of World of Yohio. If I just inspired one person with this message, then I feel like I've done a good job. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.